while I was just making my quadruple stack or PB and J. Breakfast of broke people. It hit me. This whole thing is based on a degree of difficulty. It's not going to be easy. Remember, life is a challenge. Life is a game. And it's a game that's a challenge. That's the reason why everywhere you look moment to moment, we are experiencing challenges. There's all kind of challenges moment to moment that we have to overcome. That's what the whole game is. It's overcoming challenges. So it's not meant to be easy. The whole thing's a challenge to the point that it's about challenging yourself. And that's how humanity has come this far from the Neanderthals with just stone tools, sticks, and basic language that we started as. We've been challenging ourselves. That's the essence of life experience, of the cosmos. By itself, it is a technology that is a challenge that's set up for us to be, it's a behavior modification. That's what I'll say. The cosmos is life experience itself, which starts from the cosmos to our very minds is a behavior modification construct. It's set up that we are supposed to learn lessons of while challenging ourselves through the accomplishing missions, excuse me, accomplishing missions um, to drive the narrative forward of life experience the underlying, the undertones, the undercurrents of life experience. So no part of it is going to be easy. It may appear easy, but each moment, each moment of your life, since the very first human being walked earth, has been spent overcoming challenges. As I am speaking to you right now, my immune system, self-preservation, which is actual, which by the way is just a, um, another way of saying default programming. Um, my default genetic code of self-preservation is keeping me alive, overcoming the challenges that the host hostile environment presents to my body. If your immune system failed right now, no matter where you are right now on the earth listening to this um, video, you would quickly notice how much our very, the very environment that we are in, that we're in currently, is hostile to us. So, in overcoming the challenge of life, the actual overall construct, because it's not just on an individual basis that life is based on. It's based on a oneness. It's also a group project. It's individually as um, lone units, as lone persons. But remember, you also have to consider that life is a dichotomy in that all persons are also one person. One being is what I should say. We're not a person at all. Our innate um, essence is energy. And that is what we innately are. We're immortal by nature. I know that might sound weird to say and weird to hear, but that's the fact. Do the, two, do the uh, math. Take it all together. Add all the... Um, all the hidden factors together and you will see exactly what I'm talking about. We're being punished. I've rationalized that we have to be in here because we're being punished for something that we've done outside prior to the most coming into existence. 
something outside of the cosmos. That realm would be the realm that we know as heaven or God, where God would reside. But in my mind, being that this is the game, I refer to him as the game maker, or as I posted on earlier on Facebook, the uncanny. And what the uncanny is, it has to be more than one being. Because first off, we're in here. So we already know that there has to at least be the God that created the cosmos because we couldn't have created it to trap ourselves. And then there's the God or the game maker, also another game maker that is within the cosmos, which would be ourselves. Every life form is sharing the energy, sharing our um, aggregate uh, aggregate energy. We are all one being. Remember, all and all life forms trace back to one ancestor. And what every little what do what does every living thing live off of? Energy. What powers the cosmos? What powers all motion? Energy. I'm unsure if it's just all the energy in all life forms that is all one being, or if it's just all the energy within the cosmos that is just one being, which would be all of us. But I'm telling you what we are in, if you think about it, when you consider gravity, the distance of the planets, um, and the fact that the stars are always kept far away from us. We are on a prison planet. We are in a prison. And our tool is our mind, which is why we have curiosity, which is why we feel boredom, which is why um, we investigate, which is why we have senses. These are also our, these are all our tools. Our reasoning and then you have um, not just our tools you have traps traps within your own thinking such as doubt skepticism and one of these traps are also um, set up in a way that they're dualistic they can they can help you and also hurt you so you should view everything neutrally I don't want to get all crazy but when you do view everything neutrally that's when you see it through an objective view um, and like I said if you think I'm wrong, then all you have to do is do the hypothetical of, let me assume everything has a reason. What would that reason be? If you think I'm so wrong, then you shouldn't be afraid just to do that little simple hypothetical. Follow it all the way out through to its conclusion. If everything had a reason, what would that reason be? That's how confident I am in a way that I've realized about life and what the actuality of life is really about just think for yourself if everything had a reason what would that reason be if everything in life had a reason all motions all objects what would they be so remember in order to complete this game in order to complete the objective the uh the overall mission because there's a whole bunch of small missions that are building up on bigger missions and the bigger missions that we execute are a combination of the things that we, the skills that we've learned while executing smaller missions. But the overall mission, the one that this is all building up to, the one that this is leading up to, is to figure out first that there, that we are a technology, that the cosmos itself is a technology. That's one mission. Then the other objective is to figure out that there is a God, which I can prove. I can prove already that there's a God. Um, but I guess I'll wait on the book to fully articulate that because you won't believe me now anyway. No matter what I tell you, even, I'm here giving you the straight um, factors and elements of all life and you still, because of that doubt, that safeguard in the game, your own self-trap. Remember, you're your own enemy as well as others, as well the environment which would be the game itself and as well as other creatures so that's why i'm telling you don't believe what i said just consider these things for yourself look at things from an objective view and what does your mind come to what's the conclusion that your mind comes to but remember the point of the video was that there's a fundamental challenge
excuse me. I don't want my people to go dry on me. But um yes, the life is fundamentally challenging. Pardon me. Life is fundamentally challenging. And <laughs> life is fundamentally challenging. And in order to overcome this challenge, we must uh We must challenge ourselves. To beat this challenge can only be done, can be accomplished through the challenging of ourselves. And that means challenging our very anxieties, our very biases, our very perceptions that we hold. Challenging your very idea of what you are of what you yourself are. Remember, I've already told you, you're just a cultural representative of yourself. All you look at yourself is, is as a nationality, is gender, as a religion. You don't even look at yourself as the sentient intellectual being that you were born to be. Instead, you're just so focused on anything entertainment shows you. And that's, remember, don't blame, you don't have to get upset about that or feel ashamed about that. That's the challenge of the game. To prevent you from realizing what we actually are. To prevent you from realizing what's going on. Hello, or else it wouldn't be a challenge. Now go. Go about and start thinking and realizing stuff for yourself. Why does everything happen? What if everything had a reason? Why would there be value? How come we can do things in this world that benefit us? How come we can do things in this world that takes away benefit from us? How come the world can do things to us that benefits us and also takes away benefit from us? Hello, how come we're under rules, natural laws? Even the forces of nature are governed by natural laws. What dictated those laws? Random? But it couldn't have been random because random is the result of, nas of rational processes. Hello, is 2 plus 2 equal to 4 to anyone else out there? Is this radio nowhere? Man, now I know what Bruce Springsteen was talking about. I'm doing my part, nature. <laughs>